Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up your Xbox controller to your Mac to use it on the Azahar 3DS emulator. I'll have a link in the description covering how to actually just set this up on Mac. I'll have videos for different controllers on different operating systems, so stay tuned for them. Let me know in the comments, as always, what other emulation videos you would like to see. Okay, so first of all, you need to identify if your Xbox controller has Bluetooth or not, because that's the easiest you know, way to connect it. And what I'm going to do is provide a few links with a few images to help identify it. First of all, if you have an Xbox 360 controller going way back now, oh, it's, it's crazy to say that's way back, but yeah, Xbox 360, they, none of them had Bluetooth, they, they weren't Bluetooth controllers. So you could use like an external dongle if you want to. For Xbox One, you'll need to use these images to help identify what type of controller you have. So if the button, like this is an Xbox Series controller, but you'll get the idea, this button here is just on there. The, the actual back part doesn't kind of go around and over, as you can see be, by these images. So these are for Xbox One controllers. Some did, the later ones did, the early ones didn't. That's annoying. Xbox Series controllers, so if you get anything in the last five, six years, or say eight, nine years, you're probably good to go. But Xbox Series S and X controllers, 100% Bluetooth, no problem there. Once you have that, you want to go to your emulator, you want to go to Azahar, Preferences. Actually, even before that, we need to sync up our controller. So you want to go to Settings, type in System, Settings. You can also go to Bluetooth up here, but I'll go over here because it will definitely be right there, Bluetooth. And now we want to connect up our controller. I'm going to just forget the device because I'd already connected it. Okay, so what you want to do now is press the Xbox button. Can you press till the light turns on? So this is just trying to pair to something. And now you, on the top, there'll be a sync button. You keep that pressed for a few seconds. And your Xbox light will start flashing really fast, faster than normal. If you scroll down, it appears right here. You click connect. This will now turn solid once it's connected. So once it's solid, you know it's connected. And you see Xbox wireless controller right here. We can now close settings down. Go to Azahar, preferences, controls. And in here, we can now map our controls. Again, as always, you can create new profiles for different games, different genres, different users, for example. And if I click A, I can press you know, A. So these settings are from my keyboard. So this detects is button zero. If I do B, I can do you know, B. And there's also an auto map. So I can click auto map. And it says, after pressing OK, press any button on your joystick. So if I press that. And now it's auto map the controls. So have a look at this. This will probably be the easiest way for most, you know, controllers, especially Xbox controllers. But you can always override it. You can override the dead zone if you know your controller has dead zone. And you know, again with the shoulder button, etc. And yeah, that's it. Now you can launch up your game. I will load state, so I'll just get straight into it. So you can see the D-pad work, the face button work. Let's actually get into the game now. And that should pause it. And there we go. So that is how you connect up your Xbox controller. So just follow the images I showed you if you're unsure if you have an Xbox One era controller to make sure if you have Bluetooth or not and now you if you want to you can dip out and play your 3ds games on your mac with your xbox controller or you can watch me play this for a little bit and i'm just going to turn the volume up and be silent <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
There you go, completed the level with the Xbox controller. See you in the next video, and I think it'll probably be the PlayStation 5 controller video. Take care, bye.